In this video, I'm going to show you how to create washed out effect or matte effect that works perfect on portrait images. And this lesson is the part of the bigger course. So if you want to see full course, full studio portrait retouching course, link is in the description. And now we are going to start. So you can see and uh, that's the before and that's the after. So as you can see, image look more painterly, and this is sort of washed out effect. And I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop, which is actually uh, very simple. So for this specific effect, I'm using a tool that is very easily accessible, but seems not to be very popular. And I'm talking about the exposure adjustment layer. And here we have few sliders. We have slider of exposure, which change the exposure of the image. On the very bottom, we have gamma correction. So you can correct your gamma in case you want this. But we also have slider, which is called offset. And this is what we are looking for. So by manipulating with the offset, of course, you can create this crazy high contrast dark image, um, lowering the offset. But when you're actually going to increase that, just a little bit, you will get on your image this perfect washed out effect, which I would say also uh, gives this painterly look, which is very popular for the portrait images. So if you lo look for something special, I believe uh, the working with this tool uh, will be perfect. Of course, if you want to preserve uh, the colors on the image, you can change blending mode to luminosity. But in this case, be careful with that because it will just make the shadows very saturated. That's why I'm um, staying with the normal blending mode in this case. Once you do this, it's not perfect yet. We need to adjust the contrast. So to adjust the contrast, we can go with uh, levels. We can go with curves. Um, that does not really uh, matter. So whatever you choose is good. Let's do it with curves. So I'm going to darken this a little bit here, increase the highlights. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the blending mode to luminosity because it was getting a little too saturated. So now I think the contrast are pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. I will try with levels this time. So here I will see my histogram a little bit better and I will darken the shadows for sure and also increase a little bit of the highlights. So that's quite strong. Let's see, change the blending mode to luminosity. That's uh, quite a strong result. What I would do, maybe I remove this curve adjustment layer and just let myself to go a little bit further with the levels. I just want to keep it simple. So that's only one reason for this. And here is our contrast. So of course you can manipulate much more. Um, I just wanted to keep it simple. That's why I removed curve adjustment layer. But if you want, of course, do it more and polish your contrasts. Um, this video is about this washed out effect. Of course, you can manipulate with the mid-tones a little bit more if you think they are not perfect. And in levels, you also can wash out image a little bit by manipulating this uh, bottom slider. The result is slightly different, but it does affect in similar way. So if you want to polish this effect we are doing, that's also where you can do. So I'm gonna stop here. And one more thing. Because when you work with the lights, especially on studio image, you might get some banding on the background and it's visible here. Um, in many cases, this is very easy way to solve this and the banding usually disappear when you create a stamp on the top. So first of all, I'm going to put these two layers into the group. I press shift or command and select them both, then command or control and G to put them into the group. This is before, after. Nice comparison. We can decide if this image is too bright or too dark. I think it's still too bright. So I'm actually going to darken the shadows. It's it's lacking of contrast. So a little bit more and changing a little bit of the mid-tones. I want this image to be like having this nice dark atmosphere. See now? Okay, now it's quite flat but also has nice, stronger highlights and washed out shadows. That's something 
uh, I'm, I'm looking for. That's something more I'm looking for. So here will be five. And now if I want to remove this banding I have, especially when I increase the contrast, the banding groin as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a stamp on the top. To do this, I press Command, Option, Shift and E. If you work on Windows, that will be Control, Alt, Shift and E. And then you can see when we did this, the banding from the background is disappearing. So this is how you can create some nice creative light effects on your image. You just need to think what effect you want and Photoshop already has the tools for your vision. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'm going to talk to you again very soon in the next video. Thank you.